Hi, my name is Amanda Williams and my research group and I decided to do our research study of our hamstring flexibility between male and female basketball and soccer players. Uh, we had 37 men and women um, who participated within our study and they did not have any previous hamstring uh, injuries. Uh, the first thing we did with our participants was make them fill out a brief questionnaire just getting a little bit of information about them and uh, what sport they do play up here at Franklin College. Uh, once they completed the questionnaire, they went through a dynamic warm-up which consisted of five different exercises and then they were taken into a small room to be um, tested. Um, we decided to look at the differences between gender and sport because my group members and I found that there wasn't a lot of studies done on both gender and sport. Um, a lot of the studies that we did find specifically looked at gender or specifically looked at sport. Um, the questions that we were asked were, if I am a strength and conditioning coach for women, men and women's sports teams here at Franklin College, why is this study important to me? Um, it is important to you as a strength and conditioning coach because knowing hamstring flexibility can help you teach athletes and students on how to properly stretch and how strong the hamstring can, it really is. It can also help a coach better understand the hamstring by knowing the limits on flexibility and how it can be injured if pushed to the max. The second question asked was, did you control for how warm the muscles were before testing. Do you think this matters from a muscle physiology standpoint? Why or why not? We did make the participants go through a brief dynamic warm-up before we tested them. However, um, some participants did come get tested either right before practice or right after practice or even in their free time. And I think this matters because the warm-up did provide the muscles to become more flexible than just coming in randomly and being tested. A third question was, how experienced were your subjects with stretching in general, and why would that matter? Uh, we assumed that our participants were very knowledgeable about stretching and how to properly stretch since they are athletes. Uh, we did not, however, ask them how long um, they were they played sports for, or how long they have been stretching um, previously, or anything like that. And of course, this matters because if athletes do not know how to properly stretch, then it can lead to fur further damage of not only their hamstring but other muscles within the body. And then the last question that was asked is if you have to run this study again. Would you do anything differently? Why or why not? I would personally do a few things differently. Um, the first thing I would do is um, I would either test the participants either right before practice or right after practice just so that they would be warmed up before being tested rather than having um, them come in and being tested um, during their free time. Um, another thing that I would do differently with our study is that I would have um, also put on their questionnaire um, how long they played sports for or how long they think that they have um, been stretching in their lifetime. I think having a better understanding of that could also lead us to our conclusions and their results of their hamstring flexibility.